There's a kiwi. Hi. Good morning. Hi, bug. Um, good morning. I'm vlogging today. And I think we're going to call this uh, vlog vlogging with anxiety or vlogging while I'm anxious, something like that, because I am having an anxious day. But I want to start the vlog off on something that makes me happy. So, well, he makes me happy, obviously. Um, so I wanted to share this cute new top that I just got at Costco. This is the brand Fila. And this is a size medium. I would have liked it if it was a little bit longer and more butt covering. But um, this is fine. I thought the color was really pretty. So it's not really a sweatshirt. It's like a long sleeve top. So that's nice. And then also I have a legging dilemma. So these are leggings that I've also got at Costco. I have what I thought was the exact same pair already. And the brand is Danskin. Dan, Danskin, I think. So I had a couple pairs. Love them. My favorite leggings ever. So I just was at Costco. Got this. Got a few more pairs because they had brought back the Danskin leggings. I thought, oh, this is great. I'll grab a couple more since I like them so much. This is one of the new pairs, I think. I've washed it, of course, before I wore it. And now that I have them on, I don't think these are the exact same. I think they're thinner than the ones Costco originally sold. And like just not as flattering because they're thinner. I don't know, maybe it's too dark over here. Anyway, I don't know. So yeah, it's just, it's bothering me because I've got a couple pairs now and I just feel like they aren't as, I know they're still really soft, but they're not as quite as thick. So they don't hide quite as much. And I'd like them to hide a little more and be a little more flattering. So these are just, um, yeah, plain black Danskin leggings. They were 13 bucks. I don't remember how much this Fila top was, but they had a few other colors in this. And, um, yeah, I just thought it was cute. So this is like my Costco outfit of the day. And what about you, Mr. Mush? Come here. You're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, let's get our stuff. Breakfast? Hungry? I'm actually getting hungry too. Come in. So that little bug is eating his breakfast. Good boy. Yeah, he's gotten a little pickier lately. Um, so I'm gonna talk to his vet about that. Um, and now I'm going to make something also. I have strawberries, I have yogurt, and I have just a little bit of sliced almonds left. So I'm just gonna do yogurt with fruit and sliced almonds. I love this. One of the yogurts that I like to get is Oikos Triple Zero, and it has five grams of sugar per container. And that's a lot less than some other yogurts. Um, I also tried, I don't remember the brand, but it's called Too Good. And that had two grams of sugar, which is great. But um, I just kind of got tired of that one and wanted to switch it up. So I found this one with five grams of sugar. So that's decent compared to how much sugar yogurt can have. I'm only doing a little bit for now. And if I want more, I'll just come back and have the rest. I am hungry, but um, my appetite has been affected a little bit since starting my anxiety medicine. So, yeah, like it's it's decreased my appetite a little bit, but I do feel hungry now. So, I'm going to take advantage of that and eat while I really want to. And I've only been on my anxiety medicine for like a week now. So it could very well be that it's not the medicine messing with my appetite. It's just like the, the stress of being on the anxiety medicine. I don't know. So I cut up a few strawberries and I'm going to rinse them. And I have the cutest little pink colander. I think that's from Home Goods um, a couple years ago. I'm going to put those on my yogurt. And then some sliced almonds. And I like sliced. I'm very particular about the almonds on my yogurt. I don't want whole almonds and I don't want slivered almonds. I only want sliced almonds. 
And there we go. It's not necessarily beautiful, but it is delicious. I'm also gonna have some green drink right now. And so this is from Athletic Greens, it says AG Athletic Greens. Um, so this is like a green powder with a lot of vitamins and minerals. And I um, was definitely like influenced by other people online to try it. So you're supposed to do like a full scoop. I only do about half because it's, um, it's not a bad flavor. It's pretty sweet and vanilla-y, but it's just a lot for me. So I only do about half a scoop. This is the bottle that um, it came with. So I put my half a scoop of green powder in there. If I want to change the flavor up slightly beyond the Athletic Greens flavor, like this vanilla kind of flavor, um, I put a little of my own drink powder packets in. And only a little. I don't need much. So this is um, a true lemon uh, raspberry lemonade flavor. And I get multiple uses out of one little packet. So I'll just put a little of this powder in. And you're supposed to shake this really well for, I don't know, like 20 or 30 seconds or something. Um, so I am going to shake it. And I have tried using my little, like, aerator whisker thing to mix up the powder in here instead of shaking it. But it just doesn't work as well. Shaking it is really the way to go. I also put in a few ice cubes, so I'll give it another little shake. Because I think it tastes better when it's cold. I mean, for a green drink, that's pretty good. All right, time to move some laundry. Okay, laundry's rolling. Okay, so earlier I think I mentioned that I feel like I want to call this vlog like vlogging with anxiety is because I'm really feeling it today. So I kind of wanted to go do some stuff that would be a bit of a drive. I had some errands to run, some things I just wanted to do for fun. I just can't. I woke up on my own at six o'clock this morning, worried, just worried. So I don't think I'm going to go anywhere. I, I don't know. Maybe I can run to Target later. I don't know. When I get really feeling anxious and antsy, I get um, stuck and I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to drive the car. I don't want to leave the house. I just want to like sit here, just sit here all day until it magically feels better. And I don't think that's the answer, but that's how it feels. This isn't even as bad as it could be. It can get a lot worse than this, but I am feeling anxious today and I am not doing things that I could be sharing, errands I could be running, stuff that's probably more interesting than sitting around the house. So I'm just going to roll with it I don't really know what else to do. I'm not good at pulling myself out of this. I, I'm not there yet. That's why I'm starting therapy and medicine. And I have taken um, one of my anxiety medicines today. Up until now, I've been taking like a quarter of a pill or half a pill at a time. Just kind of trying to slowly build with it. But this morning I took a full pill. So I'm a little nervous about that. Maybe it's going to make me tired or drowsy. I don't know. It might not. It might be fine, but I have been feeling a little more tired since starting my medicines in general. Um, but that was a little while ago, so I'll see. Because I don't want, I don't like that feeling since that's been happening. I don't, I don't like feeling, um, <laughs> I don't like feeling anxious, of course, but I also don't like the drowsy, like seriously tired feeling that I get sometimes now, but I'm probably just still adjusting. So that's today. I'm, I'm just stuck. If you have anxiety or any other emotional mental health struggles, you know, maybe you know that stuck feeling you can't 
do anything is what it feels like. All right, it's time to do some dishes. Um, first, I have some to put away and then I have some to wash. lunch going for my husband. He's very easy to feed because I can give him like anything and he'll eat it. Um, so I have some ramens from, it's like a ramen noodle bowl from Costco. He loves those. So I have one of those in the microwave for him now. In the meantime, I have a new snack that we're trying around here. So we've got these dots. I don't know if you've heard of this brand, dots. They make pretzels. And so we have a Southwest seasoned pretzel twist. I haven't tried these, I'm gonna try these now. And baked cheese curls. I don't think, no, these are not pretzels. I tried these last night. They're not pretzels. They're like better seasoned, a little bit spicy, crunchy Cheetos. So I've tried them and I like them, but I can't eat them because they're a little too spicy. But I'll show you what one looks like. It really looks like a crunchy Cheeto, but you can see some more seasoning on there. And then these um, might be spicy. My family's tried them so far and said they're a little spicy. So let's find out. And I'm a spice wimp, so if it's even slightly spicy, I'll tell you. So these are twisty little pretzels. I don't like the smell of these. I don't know what to, what to describe them, like how to describe them. I just don't like the smell at all. Okay, but let me try one. I'm not getting anything spicy. Maybe just a tiny bit spicy, like just a real little bit. But to me, these taste like tacos. They're like taco pretzels. Yeah, with just a little heat at the very end. I like them. They don't smell good, but they taste good. We also have um, honey mustard. I don't like the honey mustard. Well, okay, let me be fair. I haven't tried the honey mustard, but I just don't like honey mustard flavored things. So I didn't want to waste any, but maybe I'll try one of these. No, it smells like mustard. Have you tried these? I mean, these mustard yeah. ones? Did you like the honey mustard? Yeah, they're good. They smell like mustard. So I tried one. No, they're good. I don't, want, I don't like mustard. Here's a little half a piece. Did you try the Southwest? No. These taste like tacos. Okay, I'll try half a honey mustard. I'm telling you right now, I'm not gonna like it. Okay, they're sweet. They're not crazy, but they taste like mustard. There's a bug, hi bug. There he is, Mr. Cutie. <laughs> so this is the ramen. Um, it comes in this black plastic bowl. I just put it in a bigger bowl too. Um, and then I add some cayenne because my husband likes everything spicy. So, okay, hopefully that's enough. So I got some cleaning done. That always feels good. And I think I want to try and go to Target. And the only reason I feel like I can even try and go is because it's really close. 
I have something to return. I have a few things I can pick up. But maybe I should try and get out of the house a little bit rather than sit here and stew all day. So I think I'm gonna try. I popped into Home Goods because it's right by our Target and I found pink stuff. Do I need pink stuff? No, but I found it. All right, I'm at Target now and I've got my little list. Just need a few things, but of course I got sidetracked by the Lego aisle. I'd like all these Harry Potter Legos. The wizard's chest. Oh, there it is. These are funny and really cute. Almonds. There we go. That's something on my list. I'm looking for toothpaste for my husband. But I like to get a kind that I use different toothpaste, but I'd like to get a kind that I can use too. But if it has this, I can't use it. Which makes it a little tricky. Aha, this one is safe found some toothbrush heads for my Sonic here. I'm gonna get these and hope that they are a little bit better than the ones I currently have. Got a lot of other stuff too. I'm back from shopping and this is what I got at Home Goods. I got a pink cupcake pan, some Mother's Day cards, and then two of these really big um, pink cookie sheets. And then at Target, um, here were the Sonic hair brush heads for me, toothpaste for my husband. Um, I got this eyebrow filler stuff in, I guess that's the blonde shade. I don't know how that's going to go. Just because my hair is so light compared to my eyebrows now, I, I want to try it though. Um, hand soap. I feel like we buy hand soap like crazy. Another Mother's Day card. Some shredded lettuce, cheese, and taco shells, and ground beef because uh, I'd like to make taco soon. I found more of my sliced almonds. That's perfect. Taco seasoning, refried beans, that all goes together. And then sweet potatoes and 2% milk because I would like some hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate. And it's still cold out. Today it's in the low 50s. So I think tonight I'll make some cocoa. Okay, we're outside. We're gonna go rollerblading. Oh man, here I go. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out into the street. I'm exhausted just getting to the street. about rollerblading is it helps me build up a little bit of an appetite so um, I'm gonna have some leftover pork chop and that's quinoa with a little um, peas and carrots thrown in and then I have some iced tea with a little splash of lemonade so this is the Met Gala mm -hmm. I like seeing these arrivals me too. I like seeing all the what is the theme I don't I don't know the theme is somebody getting proposed to I think somebody just got engaged on the carpet Sean Mendez. What is this theme? I, I guess that's okay. Bridgerton? Kind of like. No, I don't think the theme is Bridgerton. I think I think she's getting a little Overfilled. facey face done, which oh. it just helps remind me to rein it in. Oh no! I don't know. What is he doing? Choo Choo, what are you doing? I wonder if you can see like ghosts. <laughs> you see a ghost? 
Dictionary.com gilded. <laughs> I don't love it. I mean, the, just her dress, I don't love. Covered thinly with gold leaf or gold paint, wealth and privileged. Pleasing or showy appearance that conceals something of little worth. <laughs> Glamour celebrities, all decked out, concealing little worth. So my sisters still have the Met Gala on downstairs. They're watching the red carpet, and I watched a little bit too. We like seeing all the fashions and sometimes the crazy fashions. So that's going on. Um, but I and I'd like to keep watching, but I really want to take these nails off, and that takes me a little while. So I figure I'd start it now. Um, so I have been doing, uh, using acrylic nails lately and that's what these are. I don't know who I think I am. I'm a wild woman. I'm coloring my hair. I'm putting on acrylic nails. I mean, I'm getting crazy. So I found some acrylics on Amazon and bought a couple different shapes. Some shapes, uh, work and others don't. And the reason some didn't and I had to return them is because the nails are so, the acrylic nail is so like curved that it wouldn't even, even if I pushed, it would not stay on my finger. Like it would just, it just kept popping up even with nail glue. So I returned those. These work a little bit better. This was a shape um, that I cut and, and trimmed. So this is Hopefully you can see the overall shape of these. I think it's kind of coffin-y. And then this one is oval. So those are the shapes that work for me right now. I'd like a longer coffin, but I not all nails look good. You know, you buy them, they look great on mine, but then you get them and it, to be like practical in real life. It's like, oh, well, those don't work for my fingers. So I'd like to keep looking for some more. Um, brands and stuff. So if anybody has some good brands of acrylic nails that they can recommend, please let me know. I have a bunch of little um, cotton squares that I cut up. I have my acetone nail polish remover. It has to have acetone in it. And I also have these little finger clip things. So I soak these really well in the acetone and then I put them on my finger. Oops. And then I drop it and then I clamp it on like that and then let it sit. And I do one hand at a time and the acrylic nails completely dissolve. Like they basically disappear. And I've had these on, I don't want to get them too close because they're kind of gross now, but I've had them on for almost two weeks and they're, they're beat up at this point. But I like getting the acrylic, um, clear acrylics because I use my own nail polish then. So I can polish these any way I want, which I love. Um, they might not look as good as ones that are already polished, but I don't want to waste all of the great nail polish that I have. So, um, yeah, it's just been something I've been trying lately and I really like it. So I'm going to sit here. I've got the iPad. I'll probably watch something. And I still have some of my iced tea lemonade. And I'll just be here for a while doing this. cute mug with Figaro and Marie and my new one of the new pink um, La Creuset pieces I got. You can pop in and flex if you'd like to. If you want to show off your muscles. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Although when uh, like when I publish my videos, I have I have to make a selection. Mm -hmm. Like it asks you if this video was for kids. I say it's not that I guess they're not safe for kids. I just 
don't have kid videos, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I just say no, because you never you never know what's going to happen. Better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Your dinner is yeah, all of a sudden you got a brother in law coming in with his shirt off. That's right. It might happen. I bet that would give me some views if people caught on to my hunky brother-in-law. This woman's got naked men in her videos. <laughs> this is pornography. <laughs> Appropriate. Yep, there's the guy. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for all the guest appearances. <laughs> okay, yes, it's someone's dinner time. Okay. I'm putting some marshmallows. These are bunny marshmallows. Can we tell it's a bunny? Yeah, I think so. Coco's not bad. I'm a little rusty. I haven't made it in a while. If you said something rude or crude, I would cut it out. That's what she said. <laughs> that doesn't even make no, sense. No, I know it doesn't work, but that's an example of Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I'm not opposed to you saying that's what she said. I'm still playing. Disney Collect by Tops on the iPad. Play it all the time. And this year I'm trying to collect all of the daily uncommon cards. So that's been a thing. I have to collect that card, the new card, every single day. Here is today's. I'm filming this May 2nd. Isn't that cute? And here is the one from yesterday. All right, so it's a bit later now, and I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. So take off my jewelry, wash my face, brush my teeth, all that. And I'm also gonna do um, just like a little face massage. I've got one of these, I don't know how to say it, gua, gua sha stones. It's like a little massage you rub it, kind of do little movements on your face. So I'm gonna do that with a little bottle of oil that I have. Um, yeah, and then get in bed and try and read, but I say that and then I, you know, just scroll on Instagram or whatever for way too long. So I'm going to try and read and I've been, um, using the Kindle Unlimited app for the past couple of months and I like it, but it's $10 a month and I don't know, that seems a little bit high for me. So I got to think about that. For now, I'm happy with it, but I just, um, maybe I'll take a break from it here and there because I think $10 a month is kind of high. So, uh, anywho, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. As you can tell, I have pretty simple days and that's what I like. And that's what I'm able to do given my anxiety and issues. That's what I'm comfortable with. So this is it. Although even without my anxiety, I still have a pretty simple, quiet life. So nothing too crazy goes on. And uh, most of the time I'm perfectly fine with that. So thank you for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.